What's up guys, welcome to uh, Voorhees Gaming 101. This is going to be a channel geared towards getting you the information that's kind of scattered out there if you look a lot, um, but it's not really in one place and definitely not on, on YouTube in one place. Most of it's going to be tutorial stuff. We'll do some fun stuff along the way to um, some, you know, outrunning, trolling Jason, you know, stuff like that the run and stun teach teaches some stuff like that but right now we're just going to do an intro uh new players this is going to be geared towards players that are using jason um first we're going to go through his abilities so the first this is what your ability wheel looks like i play on ps4 so to activate this you hold r1 and then the corresponding button so um it look just like your control pad there X would be the bottom one triangle all right so what you start with is morph <clears throat> and morph is basically teleport anywhere on the map it's not very precise but it'll put you near where you tell it to put you um, in my opinion the best use for this is obviously to trap the objectives early on the big ones that you got to worry about the first one always being the phone the phone is the only way that the counselors can all escape using one objective and it's a pretty embarrassing situation when the the police show up and you're there at the exit and trying to stop counselors as as you know they use speed to get by air yeah, it's not a good situation so you always trap the phone first use a trap on the phone regardless of whether you're adjacent with with less traps or not the phone is a, is a necessary trap um, after that go for the four seater and trap either the I usually just trap the battery um, namely because you can't tell if they put the gas in or not there's no difference in the way the car looks the the car will have the hood up if the battery is not in it so if you had a real skilled player early on find the gas the gas may be in the four seater already and you may be wasting a trap so I usually just trap the battery to begin with um, after that you'll want to use your morph to basically get anywhere that you think people might be follow the sound pings that show up on your screen um, we'll go into the other abilities that you'll use along with this and uh, we'll, we'll actually do that now we'll kind of integrate them so the next one is your sense this is basically I believe this is Jason's bread and butter right here this will light up a house if a counselor is in it so long as they are not hiding if they're in a hiding spot it won't light the house up um, most counselors won't just sit and hide though so it's an easy way to find houses that they're in and also depending on their fear level and how late into the match it is you will see them just glow red outside of a house and the more scared they are and the later in the round it is the farther you'll be able to see them and the brighter they'll become and this is a uh, Another good way to use your, your morph ability is that you look for these bright red objects and morph is, is a way to get closer to them without wasting your shift, which is usually a little longer cooldown and it's a lot more useful in actual close situations. So use your morph to get closer to what you see using your sense ability all right and then we've got shift shift is your basically it's um it's uh zooming through the environment at, at a high speed some jasons much higher than other jasons um this a lot of players would consider jason's bread and butter i i rely more on sense but this is basically a very very tactful ability to use this is how you catch up with counselors that are faster than you this is how you surprise them wind up ahead of them you can actually one of the cool facts about this is that you activate it um 
you know, just like the other ones by pressing, you know, R on PlayStation 4 will always be my reference. So it's R1 and square. And then to stop it, you can actually hit your attack button. You can stop it the same way you start it. You can use your attack button, your grab button. Um, I usually spam it a couple of times to make sure that it stops it and also uses the action that I want it to use. That's how most um, really skilled players pull off like shift grabs where you don't know Jason's anywhere near you and all of a sudden poof he's there and you're in a chokehold. Um, but yeah, you, you actually can. That's the best way in my opinion to stop a shift is to use either your attack or your grab buttons which um, R2 and L2 respectively. Um, We've got the stock ability. This, in my opinion, is a way underrated ability that not enough people use. This basically takes away the awareness of where you are unless the counselor comes in direct eye contact with you. Then you, that counselor knows you're there again. The music comes back, everything's there. Um, but for sneaking up on counselors that are in houses, things like that, it is perfect. If you've got a house that's glowing red, in the distance and you've got your morph and your stock ability activate your stock before you morph and they won't ever know that you got near the house they actually won't hear you breaking the door down unless one of them is in direct contact eye contact of seeing you break that door so you can actually break a door down sneak into a house and kill somebody that thinks that they are completely protected behind barricaded doors safe they don't hear your music they've got no fear alarms um you just if you can break that door down well they're not watching it you can walk right up on them and grab it and this is one of those abilities that you want to use as often as you can there is a downside to it you don't you don't want to use it actively in like a one-on-one -on -one chase i see a lot of players that do that and um, it's kind of useless because all they have to do is look at you and they, they know you're there again. The music is there, everything is there. Um, but for a lot, of, a lot of occasions, this is really, really useful. One of the downfalls is because they don't know you're near, um, their, their fear level doesn't rise. So there, there aren't all the penalties associated with that, but it's actually, I, I love just sneaking up on, on counselors using this. And they have the, if you use it right and you get good with it and practice, uh, follow some of my future tutorials, uh, you'll be able to sneak up on them with some Jasons. They'll never see you coming. All right, so that covers the ability. Well, I guess Rage is... Rage isn't a activatable ability. Um, this activates by itself, normally midway through the match. However, and this is a really good tip to all you new players, especially if you get upset by people coming at you with baseball bats and stunning you. And the more that you're stunned, the faster your rage builds. So I will actually encourage counselors to use their shotguns their uh, flare guns anything that's not doing a massive amount of damage but it's stunning me at, as much as i can early on so i can get my rage ability and that that once you have your rage your uh your sense ability becomes heightened to an insane degree you can actually see on small on the smaller maps you can actually see houses glowing two-thirds of the way across the map um, also you don't have to you don't have to break doors down you, you simply press X and walk through them a lot of times you'll walk into a trap um, or somebody ready to stun you or whatever but it's still way more useful the more doors you you can break that way the less places they have to hide especially if you're getting down to the wire they got nowhere to lock themselves in they're in trouble so rage uh it activates by itself there's a meter that'll be up in uh, the corner of the screen and it is on a timer but the more that you're stunned and jason is angered the faster that will fill so 
use that as kind of a motivator when you know you're new to this game and getting stunned all the time you feel like you're you know kind of powerless to the situation just think hey my rage is coming and it's coming a lot faster